All right. I'm going to attempt to replace these bolts that go right here for the uh, brake caliber. I had a lot of trouble getting one out because they're uh, star star uh, tips. And this one, I don't know if you can see it. It's all stripped. So I'm going to replace it with Allen wrench. Allen wrench uh, heads. And you could buy these at the Auto Motor Store. And you just go right in there. Now they come with these sleeves, if you want to use them that's up to you, but in order to get those on, you got to take the caliber off, and since there's a little ridge here, sometimes these things are hard to get off, so you use a, a pry bar. to remove and they use these boots just slip them in here see what I just did just pushed one in use the old one so I'll, sh I'll try to show you this one. Just push it through. They got little grooves where the rubber sits in so you don't have to worry about uh, That's it on those. Now, this guy, to attempt to do a hub job, remove the hub and a rotor because the brakes are brakes aren't that bad but I'm gonna do them as a set. So it looks like I need a a 17. I said 17, let me see. That's a 19, so maybe it's an 18. Here's a 
18, let's see if this 18 fits. Yeah, it's more of an 18. This one's broken. we go. This is the other part of the caliber. Takes a 18. You can tell I'm lazy. Don't want to get up and get the mallet. We're gonna take the cotter pin off the nut because we gotta take the hub off. Unfortunately, this is Lincoln Navigator 1999, and I guess they felt it's better to do it as one unit.
I got me a little towel, put it on the floor. Obviously, you can tell that I did this last time because I'm using a big giant. As you're pulling it out, just make sure you don't break it. Uh, let's see. Hi, brother. How are you? Hey. How have you been? Long time no see. Yeah. You're just in time. <laughs> Do you need help? Kind of. Um, I don't want to get up and down. I believe the second drawer from the top setup, uh -huh. from the bottom up, it's a big one, a little one. All my, all my um, all, um, open box. Yeah. I need one that says at least one inch. All of your what? I need one that says one inch. Of what? Your element? Yeah. Uh -oh. That axe is here. This one? One inch. So say one. No, you were there. Your element is one in there. I'm sorry. Uh, open end, box end. One inch. Okay. I'm sorry, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, maybe it's the third one then. They're all my wrenches. One inch. There's a big guy right there. Is that big giant guy? Should say one inch. It's at 15 feet. Oh, let's try that. Watch out. Don't fall on me. No, I need a one inch. So I got the brakes. Let's try seven eighths. One inch. One inch. Okay. Let me see. You're getting smaller. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. One inch. Oh, one inch. What should be one and one sixteen? Yeah. One and one sixteen. Okay. If not, um, I don't think these will work. Oh, uh, right there, that, uh, right there, that black case behind you. It's a socket set. This one? Yeah, it's the black case. Oh. See if it says one in there, the biggest guy you got there, one and one eight. It's actually one and one sixteen, but this will work. I want you to break it now. Get a one and sixteen in. Okay. Nothing? No one and one six just same area, brother. Oh uh, this one? Yeah. One and one sixteenth. This is one and one eight. The biggest guy there. Yeah, that is the biggest guy there. Okay, the guy underneath it. No, no, in the case. Yeah. Okay, so this is 7 eighths. It gets smaller after that. Oh, it jumps up to the... Okay. Um, Unless you're missing one. Okay, uh, right there, go uh, in that drawer. No, no, I need oh. one of these. Oh, yeah, I yeah. need one of these. It says 1 and 1 sixteenth. And it's the third drawer... Or it's a drawer that's open. Is it there? Big guy like this? It looks just like this. You know what? It's all right. I'm going to have to get up and do it. I'm sorry, brother. It's all right. I don't know where any of your tools are. That's why it's not good to offer help. I'm so sorry. Ugh. It's all right. I got it.
Um, that's a bummer. So what are you doing in this part of town? I just got off of work to tell you the truth. This is like the earliest I've got off of work in a while. Like I usually get off at like... Where are you heading? After this, probably to a nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I just came to visit you. Um, Me? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> oh, you guys are weird. a big part of my life still. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. My next surgery, I got... I got a checkup. My next surgery is in June. It's, June. it's really, really soon. The only reason why they're not doing it sooner is oh. because I don't have insurance. Oh. I'll get it, I'll get it, don't worry. So that's uh, why. So my next surgery is So in we June. see here that this is, uh. It's actually a metric 27 millimeter. I should have figured that out. This was metric. I guess everything's metric. Sometimes they interchange them. Yeah, the week of Thanksgiving, I had to be worse to an emergency. That's pretty bad. That's bad. They said that my um, the uh, the blood flow to my lungs uh, the vessel is closing so they're gonna need to do a surgery really soon uh, so and that's that they told me that's the reason why I'm always tired and can't breathe <laughs> basically that's crazy so I can't wear these gloves because I'm going to do some grease stuff so Why don't you use your pliers? Oh, uh, to get the wash? Mm. How's Ruben? He's doing good. He's at um, Tusc Tuscadero. So he moved. Again? Yeah. He got a little depressed. Sorry. So. Don't look that bad. Mm. Let's try this. I'm going to try to. Birthday, brother. Oh. I'm sorry, what did you just say? When is your birthday? January. Hmm. Well, what I was attempting to do is preserve this. This is the, this is a seal. These are eight bucks, so that's why I did what I did there. I don't recommend you doing that because you you scratch up all the teeth there. But yeah, that's what happens when you try to save eight bucks. <laughs> Do you need a rag? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Go You're through the side of the house on the wall. See that paper towel holder up there? Watch your feet there. Okay. Yeah. That's because I keep getting um.
you, Doc. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Do you need anything else? No, uh, I'm alright. Why do you have a video camera? I'm recording. Oh, okay. Gotta make money somehow. Where do you post it at? YouTube. Really? As long as people watch it, they get... I get uh, paid. Okay. Uh, this is what I'm on, what's going to be most... Okay. You see, if you look, if you move, stand over there, you see that yellow thing? Yeah. Okay, like standing that. right there, eye level, looking straight. Okay, uh -huh. watch me. You're like this, looking straight. There should be a clear container with a lot of automotive stuff. I need a container that's full of grease. Okay. Okay. Because I need to... Uh, I think I'm going to have to repack these bearings. So when you go in there, just be a little careful. Stand right there, looking towards, not towards me, but towards the wall. See that container with automotive stuff? This one? No, 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 no. It's way over there, up in my cabinet area. No, no, I told you eye level. Yeah. Oh, right there, yeah. 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 There should be a little round one, short grease, high grease. Can you reach in there? Do you see it in there? Uh, no, I don't see it in there. Mm. So you're going to have to take it out to look inside. It's a clear container if you could pull it out. There's a lot of automotive stuff in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It should be a, a container in there full of grease. It says high temp grease or high bearing grease or it's, it's, it should say silicone grease. You see it? No? There should be like a chrome cleaner. Yeah, it's yeah. wheel rearing grease. That's it, wheel bearing grease. Wheel rearing? Rearing? Yes. Okay. Cool. It's not clear, but okay. <laughs> I meant the container oh, okay. that it's in. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm going to do the grease. The thing you got to be careful with is not to get grease on the rotor because then you got to clean it and it's hard to clean. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's not very much. Mm. Okay. This is how you do this. It's going to be tricky. You got to get some of this grease. You put it in a cup of your palm. And you, you go like this. Until you see it packing through. It's called packing, wheel, wheel bearing packing. So. I don't know why it's so... It's messy. See it going through? See it? And then you put this guy in there. Paper towel? Hmm? No, I was um, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Is Sister Vicky in there? Or? Yeah, I think she's in there. All right, I'm gonna go say hi. Okay. Try not to touch paper.
messy, messy process. Well, gotta do this. Well, there goes my my theory on the so now maybe you should get extra towels. Or maybe you could wear plastic rubber gloves, that might be helpful.
sometimes these things won't fit because we didn't put these push these things back enough. Definitely not the way you're going to want to do your brakes.
So I'm just going to put on the, uh, the bolts and I'm done.